Enjoy your cold ride. Everybody want a cold one? Oh boy, I can feel my nose running. Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back, I am riding on a colder day, colder day. It'll probably reach a high of 50. It's like, I think in the 40s, but it feels like lower 40s, lower 30s. Tomorrow's gonna be the freeze, supposedly the freeze out here. So I'll show you what I'm going to wear and how I ride in the cold, right in the cold. Of course it doesn't snow, but it's cold. And uh, I always wear the buff. I did wear the balaclava, so I'm able to wear the top piece of uh, my helmet mount here. But I do, uh, I do put on my frog togs. As you can see, they kind of they kind of puff up. And uh, I got the uh, high vis around the ankle, and uh, it's just it's like a, a dry suit almost on the pants that protects my bottom. My upper, uh, right now, not that cold enough. I do wear this and has a little cutout for the thumb. Uh, gloves. Uh, I do have a, uh, I double glove it. Of course, you know these little Harbor Freight high-vis hand glove. And then uh, some kind of fleece glove here. And what it does is uh, it just knocks out the wind. It's not 100% proof. My hands will probably still get cold. That's why I... I do this here, but my fingers, they'll get cold. But if you pedal, hopefully you'll warm up. And if you, I prefer wearing black. So when I stop or when I ride slower or go into a valley where the wind doesn't hit me, uh, it, you'll get warm if you're just in the sun. Uh, another thing I want to share is uh, my, <laughs> my, uh, um, Near bag. Uh, this thing, well, I cut this off, but uh, what happened is that it snapped off. It is so easy. Look at that. It's so brittle. You seeing that? Look at that. Look how brittle it is. So, anyways, uh, two years. Two years is how, how long it lasts. Oh, uh, well, in the paneer bag, in the paneer bag, I got. Uh, I have my uh, field and stream jacket. Does a really good job of uh, knocking the wind out, and also um, it's it is somewhat waterproof. That's why I like it. All right, let me get on my gloves, and you're and it gets thicker, but I'm still able to use the controls. All right. And does get thicker, but I'm still able to use controls. And today, I'm going to use my telescope that I bought at Academy. Again, this is not 100% proof, but uh, what it does do, it does help knock out the wind a lot. Um, in the front here, I don't know if you're able to see that. Got my Celestron telescope. Barely fits in here. Got all of my other stuff in here. Got my battery not a lot <laughs> it just barely fits in here uh, i do have some padded material and uh a tarp if i took that out it'd probably fit a little bit better but i i leave that in because it, it rained a couple days ago so i don't know if it, the grass is going to be wet and i'm going to be out i'm going I'm, I'm headed to the hill i'm headed to the hill that's where i'm headed to let's turn the bike on i'm headed up to the hill I'm going to test out my new telescope that I got. That's the plan anyway. All right. Whew. Oh, I also brought the, uh, I don't know if you see that, but I brought the machete because I do plan on going through, uh, I do plan on going through uh, Mario Land. I'm going to use that machete. I just bungeed it to the uh, front rack along behind behind the basket so anyways hopefully i won't stab myself that's all right i got a i got a bulletproof uh vest on that's also uh slash proof for blades not spike proof splash proof spike proof or slash proof it has chain mail in it all right okay 
So cold riding, what are you gonna do for cold riding? Well, first of all, the thing that's gonna get cold right off the bat is your hands. Your hands are gonna get cold right off the bat. So uh, that's what you have to uh, really gear your, uh, your apparel for. So I double gloved it and then I have the, uh, the sleeve going over the palm of my hand so uh, you know to create some warmth there. I have this inner layer, I call it an inner layer. Um, it knocks out the wind a little bit, I can still feel the wind but you don't want to you don't want to bundle up too hard because uh, because what's going to happen is uh, you're going to overheat if you pedal. And I recommend if you're going to ride a, a bike, whether it's an electric bike or or a regular bike during the winter time when it's cold, go ahead and uh, pedal. You'll generate a lot of heat. I'm on pedal assist five, gear seven. So you're going to generate a lot of heat and uh, you want to vent that heat out. So get something that's you know, a little fleece-ish, fleece-ish, furry-ish, you know, like a fleece or, or something like that, something soft, but still breathable because you, you want to vent heat out. And another thing is, uh, I have uh, these, uh, they're, they're not sunglasses, they're, they're these cheap Harbor Freight uh, protective safety glasses, tinted safety glasses. Uh, they do help with the wind, but ultimately, I have a left yellow arrow, I'm going to take it. But ultimately, uh, you know, it, it does let a lot of cold air into my eyes, so I get, I'm getting a little teary eye. But that's what the buff is for. That's what the buff is for. The buff that covers my face. <laughs> yeah. when, my, when my little teardrops fall, it doesn't fall and hit my mouth or into my nose. It absorbs it right there. Also, uh, your nose will start running as well. So you'll get a runny nose. And again, that's what the buff is for. It absorbs all the snot right up here. And uh, that way, uh, I don't have snot going into my mouth. And, it, and it, it does help with the wind shear on your face. Uh, I also have wear a buff over the top of my head, covering my ears, and then the face, the buff on my face covers the ear as well. Okay, so it's now windy today. I thought it'd be windy, but uh, right around the roads it seems to be pretty still, but it's still cold, so I'm, I'm dressing for it. Plus I'm going to be out there looking through the telescope. So another thing is... Uh, I cover the ears because your ears will get cold. And I have uh, Power Beats Pro. I don't have them on. They are connected to the phone, so I can hear the phone alerts and stuff like that. But cold air going in your ear now, kind of distracting. So I, I plug that up. I plug my ear now with. I can still hear. It's just that it stops the wind from getting in there. Now, if it got, right now it's probably in the 50s, but it feels like 40s. Obviously, I'm not gonna be freezing, but because you're riding 20 miles an hour in the open, open wind here, open air, you'll feel colder. So I wear the boots, I got the uh, frog tuck pants, that helps. My fingers are getting cold. I can start to feel, I can, they're starting to feel cold, but, if I didn't double glove it, 
with the, some kind of fleece glove. Uh, it would feel colder. What you want to do is you want to create a pocket of air or a, a layer of air around your body. And uh, that should slow the wind hitting up against your body, which makes it colder. If you know anything about uh, heat loss or heat transfer and how it works, why wind chill factor makes it feel colder than if you were standing in a cold room, you understand how heat loss works. So I'm pedaling, I'm trying to generate body heat, I'm trying to eventually warm up my fingers. If I get too hot, that's what the paneer bag is for. Normally, I start using the paneer bag because they just hold them closed. So, right now, my jacket is in there. I, I, maybe I won't need it, but if I feel cold from just being outside, make it a little windy. I try to leave during uh, the warmest part of the day, which is right about now, 11-ish, late, late, uh, early 12-ish, late 11-ish. That's when the sun is at the peak right there, although it's at an angle because we're tilted away from the uh, sun. Right-hand turn. Uh, since I got the telescope, I've been really interested in astronomy. Or, well, it's one of the things I'm learning. Astrology, not astrology, astronomy. And I got this app that tells me where it tracks the sun, the moon, the stars, the whole thing. And it's helpful if you're going to ride around during the winter because you probably want to ride around right around when the uh, when the sun is at its highest and you also want to look at your weather and also figure out when it, it's going to be the warmest because you're going to need it you don't want to that's if you're riding around for fun if you if you have to go to work on your bike you, I don't think you would you have much of a choice. Yeah, I don't think you'll have much of a choice. So you're, you know, you have to leave in the morning, come home at night. But try to figure out when the sun sets, when the time is the warmest, if it's a clear day. So look at your weather app. If you have a weather app or just go to a, a weather uh, service website. Just look at your day. Figure out when's the best time to go. So, I feel the wind, but it's not that cold. Or, I don't feel it as much. I don't feel the full effects of the cold air. It's really breezy right here. I can feel it pushing me. Right hand turn. Uh, another thing is, uh, if it's too cold, slow down. Don't go so fast. Uh, the faster you go, the colder you will get, the colder it feels. Like I said, if you understand how thermodynamics work or heat loss, you understand why wind or the movement of cold air is absorbing your heat faster than, than if a uh, cold uh, surface, cold, the cold moving around a hot surface absorbs uh, the heat more than if it just, it was, if the air was just standing still. So, I don't know if anybody's working today. Nobody's working at the construction, construction site today, are No, they are. Some people are working. Back to work. Ooh. Back to work. So I'm just headed to the hill. I want to get to the highest point and check out my new uh, 
my new toy. Yes, it's my new toy. But I didn't pay a lot for it. I think it's like 70 bucks. $69.99. Got it at Academy. Black Friday. Happy holiday, everybody. Enjoy your cold ride. Everybody want a cold one? Oh boy, I can feel my nose running. So, my, my fingers, they feel like they're getting warm because I feel my blood getting flowing, then they get cold as they go faster. So, like I said, if you get too cold, just slow down. Slow down, go into a lower gear, put the pedal assist down, start generating some body heat. If I get too cold, I uh, have some room here, right here where the vest is. Let's see how wet it is. Hopefully it's not too wet. Okay, no. I get, uh, I leave the zipper here so I could zip up just in case I don't want it. If it gets too cold and the wind starts going down my neck. So you don't have to go too fast, just slow down a little bit and uh, you'll warm up a little bit more. Then you can start going fast or you can start pedaling. When you start going uphill, start pedaling. And it becomes a very enjoyable ride or a comfortable ride. Trust me, you're not gonna ride your bike if you're freezing your balls off. I'll tell you that right now, especially your hands. When your hands get cold, oh. Man, it feels like you got arthritis. You feel like an old man. Which, ironically, some of you may be old men and women. That's not excluded women. Although I don't think a women would be uh, very interested in riding out in the cold. Another thing you should also be aware of is uh, your batteries, because uh, in the cold, your batteries, your lithium-ion batteries, will drain faster will drain faster and uh, it will drain faster and if it's too cold if it's very cold if you try to charge your battery in the cold like you have your your battery in the, in the garage and your garage is cold it's not heated or insulated you could damage your battery that is that is real I'm headed to the hill, so I'm going out this way. It's not going to be like a full, full ride. Oh, they got the they got the tree up. Let's take a look at the tree. They got the tree up, but I don't think they're going to have any uh, celebrations. I don't think they're going to have any celebrations this year. I don't think so. If they, even if they do, we probably won't go because there's just been a surge in coronavirus cases everywhere. How true is it? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. I don't want to take that risk with my life and my family and my kids and my wife. So, uh, you know, why take the risk? Play it safe. Even if, even if this thing's a whole, let's say it's a hoax. Let's just say it's a hoax. I don't think it is, but why would you take that chance? You know, if nothing happens, then guess what? Nothing happens. But if it is real, why would you take that chance? It rained a lot today. There's an egret out there. It rained a lot. Let's take a look at this tree. Uh, let's. I gotta be careful because uh, I slipped on this very slick. Oh, look at that tree. A very nice, beautiful tree. Look at that. I don't know if they're gonna do anything out today for this year. Oh, it looks nice. Anyways. Uh, I gotta be careful, it did right. I'm gonna go on top of the hill. Let's lower my gear to all the way to one. Oh, I didn't get a head start. I didn't get a running start, but that's all right. I can still make it. Just lower your gear, pedal assist five. It'll make it up there. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm gonna get on the top, which would be right around here, I think. People are playing tennis. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look on my telescope here. 
And that's it, everyone. Uh, that's it for this video. I'm gonna have fun on my new telescope. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, share, comment. Hopefully you all enjoyed your holidays. Happy New Year and enjoy your winter ride. Bye.